What is going on guys, welcome back to Joe Looks and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be reviewing rappers outfits and I'm not going to use the same five rappers that everybody else uses, you know Kanye West, ASAP Rocky, Travis Scott, Drake and Post Malone. Those are the five that get talked about the most. I'm going to try and show you another five who always bring like a well put together look but don't necessarily get the same credit as all these other rappers do so I'm going to be trying to talk about them today. The first one I'm going to talk about is Vince Staples. So anybody that knows Vince personally and knows the way that he behaves in interviews, you know that he's a very straightforward guy. He's very to the point, yet there are a few elements about him as well to make him a bit of a weirdo and a bit sporadic and a bit strange. And you can see that as well through the way that he dresses. He wears Chuck Taylors a lot, you know, the Converse. That's because he's from Northside Long Beach, which is like the main shoe of the area. So he's true to his roots, which I hold a lot of respect for him for. But also it's something that if you wanted to dress like Vince Staples, you haven't got to save up for two, two or three paychecks just to be able to buy it. Hopefully you see what I mean in the way that he's very well put together, all the colours match, it's a good blend and everything, but it's still very low key, it's nothing massively expensive, it's nothing ridiculously out there. However, what I mean about him being a little bit strange and a little bit sporadic is he does occasionally throw out some fits that are relatively normal, but then have a few strange elements in there as well. For example, this one, you know, he's got the white t-shirt and the white converse again, but then he's worn it with a pair of suit trousers, which is just a little bit different from what we normally wear with that. You know, you'd imagine just a pair of black skinnies or a pair of blue jeans. Another example of him being weird is this one. So although I do think it kind of suits him in some strange way, it's definitely not a normal fit, you know? The white shirt underneath and the Doc Martens and the hat, if you were just to wear some blue jeans with that, it would work, but instead he's gone for some blue sort of like overalls. But like I said, he's well put together and he doesn't spend a ridiculous amount of money on his outfits, so he's a good person to have in the scene. Number two, Anderson Pack. Now, if you know Anderson Pack's music, you know that it's very sort of feel good. It sort of represents like bright colours, if you will, but there's also a somewhat deeper message throughout a lot of it. And you can somewhat see that in the way he dresses as well. It's always bright colours and it's feel good outfits and he looks good in it. But then there are a lot of them that really sort of seem like he's trying to show someone else with the way that he dresses. He wears a lot of coats, you know, it always sort of seems like he's winter dressed no matter what the season is. He wears a lot of these hats as well. The beanie is like a signature look to him that you'll catch him wearing all the time. He can do sort of both ends of the scale of there's some pieces that are like really like low key and well put together but then he flexes a lot through some things. For example, this Stone Island coat in this fit and it looks like he's wearing some sort of like snakeskin converse. Now, I don't just want to assume that they're expensive because I've never actually seen them before. But because I've never seen them before, I'm going really to assume that they're quite expensive. But ultimately, it's just well put together. And if you know him and you get to know his music, you can see that it's very, very similar to the way that he dresses. And that's why I hold a lot of respect for him for and why I think it's important because it's very true to who he is as a person. Number three, Joey Badass. Now, Joey's style is a lot more of the sort of style that I would aspire to and a lot more of the sort of fashion sense that I'd like to wear myself. So he's definitely up there to me as one of the most important, but he definitely is slightly underrated. You know, he's got, he rocks the same sort of fits as people like ASAP Rocky and Travis Scott, he's in that same sort of bubble, yet he never really gets the same credit that those guys do. Joey Badass is a New York rapper, so that means that he wears a lot of boots, you know, he wears a lot of heavy duty clothing because obviously New York is cold pretty much all the time. And then one of the style things from that area is like Timberland boots and the big thick shoes. So you see a lot of that in the way that he dresses. But then he'll also consistently mix it up with some flex pieces in there. For example, this Urban Outfitters Champion hoodie mixed with the Jordan 1s. You know, he can really do both ends of the scale, like the low-key looks where you don't really know too many of the brands, to the ones where he's really flexing. For example, this one here as well, where he's in the Yeezy Season 4 coat, I believe, and he's in the Yeezy 950 Moon boots. But yeah, the way that he dresses, it just sort of like, it's flex pieces, but it's well put together, and then it's not flex pieces, and it looks incredible. You know, he really is just a good version of doing both sides of being a hype beast. It's hard to me it's hard for me to explain why I think he's important, but I do definitely hold him as somebody that's very important in the sort of fashion scene in hip hop. Number four, Big Sean. Now Big Sean in pretty much every way imaginable is underrated. You know, he's constantly missed out as one of the best rappers in the scene, period. But I feel like he's also missed out in the way that he dresses as well. Because he's another person that is similar to the ASAP Rockies and the Travis Scotts, but it's always them that gets mentioned, not him. For example, as you see, all of his looks are just extremely well put together. The colours always match. He always knows what he's doing. He always looks confident in everything that he wears. And those are like the main things that you look for if you're going to judge somebody's fashion sense. Now, Big Sean is similar to Joey Badass in the sense of he's from Detroit, which is another really cold city. So he wears a lot of the boots and a lot of the winter clothing pretty much all the time. But my other favourite thing about Big Sean that's similar to Joey Badass is he's really good at bringing out the flex pieces and the Yeezys and everything, but then he matches it with stuff where you look at and you don't necessarily know the brand. You know, I'm not doubting that it's not expensive, but you don't know the brand. You know, I've never seen him in an off-white hoodie, for example. It's always much more subtle, low-key outfits. For example, this one here, you know, the colours are well put together. He's flexing through the Yeezys, but ultimately it just looks like a 
just a, it's very visually appealing, this look, do you know what I mean? Like it's satisfying to look at almost. So he's definitely somebody that's underrated in both his music and the way he dresses, but he's very important to me in the same way that Joey Badass is, of being able to mix the hype beast stuff with like the elegant high fashion stuff. So that's why Big Sean is important to me in that sense. Number five, Chance the Rapper. Now Chance the Rapper is definitely the closest person on this list to getting the respect that they deserve, you know, he's definitely mentioned more than anybody else on this list, he's quite close to ASAP Rocky and Travis Scott's name, but the reason that I consider him to be more underrated and almost hold him more important than Travis Scott and ASAP Rocky, though I dress closer to the way that those guys dress, is because there's just something a bit more hipstery about Chance the Rapper, so he, he mixes it up and he wears the same things that everybody else does. But there's just something hipster about him. For example, the, the dungarees, you know, the overalls, all these, all these different looks that he brings, nobody else is doing. It's everything that you're looking for, but he just does it in a very unique way, which I think is important because there are a lot of people I've seen in recent start dressing similar to the way that he dresses and they just look happier doing it. You know what I mean? It's important that there are more people that are not afraid to dress different to the Travis Scotts and the ASAP Rockies. You know, and that's why I hold them important because sometimes I like to get away from that look myself. Even though, like I said, I do mainly dress like those guys. But yeah, Chance the Rapper is important because he's, it's a different sense of style that nobody else in the scene is having, while also being what everybody else likes. He's good at doing his own thing while also bringing the scene with him. So that's why Chance the Rapper is important. Alright guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope I've not rambled on too much and I hope you've really sort of felt what I've been trying to say. If you have felt what I've been trying to say and you agree with me, please do hit that subscribe button because it means an awful lot to me if you actually show appreciation because then I know where I'm sort of going from here. Thank you very much for watching guys. As always, my name is Joe Lux and enjoy the rest of your day.